Hi everyone, welcome back to Spring Web Flux Essentials and in this video we are going to update our integration tests to apply authentication. Just one quick update, uh, when I was recording this video in Portuguese, because I recorded one in English and one in Portuguese, I updated the name of the, the user with Flow user to David Silva. So David is our developer, our Flutter developer, that also records uh, videos, but only in Portuguese. So he is our uh, user with Flow user now. This is important because in the test we are going to get this uh, username and we are going to connect to this database. So let's go to the tests. Um, if you run the controller IT, anime controller IT test, they will all fail because now we are requiring authentication. So you're going to see that all of them will fail only the block count uh, is working. So what can we do? What we need to do? We can uh, do the basic authentication through web test client, but we are going to need three different uh, web test clients. The one that will have the role admin, the one with uh, user and one that's kind of invalid. So since we are going to do three of them, let's come here to the test util and let's create uh, another class and let's call this web test client o2 so what are we going to do inside this uh, web test client o2 first we are going to need the application context so just add application context here and make sure that you have add component this needs to be a spring bean and required args constructor so required args constructor will add a constructor argument to all the attributes that has a final now, just create a method that will return our web test client. And let's call authenticated or authenticate client. And we are going to need username and password. Cool. So now what we need to do, we need to call web test client and we need to bind to the application context so we are going to bind to application context sending this application context uh, just one second because probably it's way too small let me update the font just realize now 18 here and appearance also 18 Okay, so web test client to two, application context and authenticate client and return web test client, bind to application and apply security mock MVC configurers dot spring security. And then you configure the client and we are going to add this filter that will add uh, the basic authentication. So exchange filter functions, not function. And the package is this one, reactive function client dot basic authentication with this username and this password. And just build. Okay, so here, let me see. So web test client bind to application context, application context. Apply security MVC. No, never. Uh, actually, this is not the one. Security mock. Not not security mock. It's a uh, security mock server. There you go. This is the right configuration. Okay. So now that we have this method, we will go back to anime controller IT, and we are going to add here auto wired and private uh, web test client util web test client util now that we have this one we need to do a couple changes because uh, we will need three of them and this one we can consider as the user so let's just rename this one test uh, client user and we are not going to use auto wired. We are going to have now three of them. One will be test client user, test client admin, and test client, uh, let's say, invalid. 
Okay, with these three, now we need uh, to set up here inside the auto wired. So basically, just call test client user, and then you assigned web test client to till dot authenticate client, and then you send username. The first username is the one that's not admin, so this one will be David, and the password is DevDojo. Cool. So we have user, we have admin, and we have invalid. Invalid, we can give anything, and for the admin is uh, William. So everything that we have here, William and David. Okay, so now that we've refactored and all of them are now test client users, some of them should fail. Let's uh, run everything. Some should work, some should fail. Okay, so the save failed because the post requires admin, but it's interesting because the put passed, and this is the whole idea of tests. We figure out that we have one problem in our application. What's the problem? Our security config, it's only for post and get. So we have a couple options here. We could either change the, the URLs, for example, everything that's changing the state, that's not uh, either dependent. We could change the URL there and add, for example, slash admin. Or we can just change this method and add, for example, post, put, and delete. And for all of them, they would require the, the role admin. If we run this uh, test again, you will see that now almost all of them with exception for the get, should fail. So find, find worked, and uh, list all. Remember that we have uh, admin for this one. And uh, list all is the same thing. Okay, so let's stop for now. In the next video, we are going to uh, update the, the test. So, see you there. Bye.